to our attention that there are children right here in Forney, Texas that are hungry. And, you know, we have at least about 30% of the children that are in Forney ISD, they fall under the guidelines for, that, for either free or reduced lunches. But we have kids here in Forney that when they, go, when they eat lunch on Friday afternoon at the school, that's their last meal until they come back to school on Monday morning when they get their breakfast. So that's a long period of time for these kids to go without food. We found out that um, there is a program that was started over at Criswell Elementary several years back, and it's called the Backpack Program. And when it was started over there, it was just through their PTO and some other parent volunteers. And what they did is they had backpacks that they would fill with nutritious foods, like maybe it is something easy that these kids could probably prepare on their own, like the easy mac and cheese, um, you know, ravioli, ramen noodles, that sort of thing that you could send home they would have food for the weekend, and then they would return their backpack to the school on Monday, and it would get filled again for them to take home the following weekend. So when it was brought to our attention, it was kind of like, wow, if this is happening at one campus, surely there's other kids at other campuses that may fall into those same, you know, predicament. So our next project, we're hoping, is going to be like a legacy. It's like a footprint of this class. And we're hoping to do a backpack program that we can roll out for the whole independent school district that we're going to use our counselors to identify kids at each campus that truly are in need. And so I'm going to turn it over to Randy Richter. We've been having some discussions on how to get this program running, and he's going to fill you in on those. Great. Thanks, Cheryl. Uh, for, for you guys that I haven't met yet, I'm Randy Richter. I'm an independent financial planner here in town uh, with Red, Redwood Financial. Um, and just to update you guys on some of the planning sessions that we've had on this backpack program, uh, the counselors have actually identified around 100 kids that fall in the example that, that Cheryl brought up, brought up where their last meal is, is lunch on Friday and they don't get um, the next meal until uh, they get back to school on Monday in the morning. So uh, to come up with uh, kind of the, the, the program and to, to get this off and running, what we've decided to do is we, want, we wanted to um, have this up and rolling the last six weeks of this school year so that we have sort of a trial date to iron out any um, any things that needed to be fixed over the summer and then um, really hit the community hard for um, help, whether it be donations, volunteer time, and putting the backpacks together, um, and uh, help with ma overall management of the program um, with that uh, over the summer. So. Uh, what we've what we've got here is we've already have a couple of partners. Uh, Community Life Church is going to help us out a lot with uh, the volunteers and some funding, and we've also got um, the Forney Dry Cleaners are actually going to provide some of their high school workers to volunteer while they are still on the clock and getting and paying them their hourly raise to help us out deliver the backpacks on Fridays. And so the kiddos can return uh, back on Monday so we can get them uh, sent back out the following weekend. We've got backpacks already donated, um, so that's, uh, that's good that we've gotten that taken care of. And then as far as um, covering the food, we've got all that uh, taken care of and then where to store the food. So really where we are uh, needing the most help at this point is going to be obviously any additional volunteers that we can get and helping putting these together during the week, um, financial support. Um, the goal that we're shooting for, um, in addition to this, uh, to the Sharing the Love Foundation helping fund this summer camp, is, uh, is an additional five thousand plus for this trial run for before the uh, before the summer gets here, so that we can iron out iron out any details, and then we'll uh, we'll get it up and rolling rolling permanently uh, next school year. Uh, but really, those are the ways that that uh, you guys can help us out, and we really think you know whenever we first found out about this, it was. You know, well, we, we're living, you know, we, we live in our own bubble and we don't really notice all of the other things that, uh, that go on in, in, our, uh, in our community. So we would appreciate any, any help. Um, and more info is going to be coming out on that um, here in the near future as well. So we, we appreciate your time.